this is the Anderson Northwestern Technological Institute from Sheridan Road. This building was built in 1941, and this is, and we moved in in 1941. from Shade and Goat. This is the main entrance. Dean Ashby, the face dean of the Technological Institute in the new building. Bob Summerbell, Chairman of the Department of Chemistry, and this is Ipachev. I was taken in 1950. This is the machine shop where most of the equipment for high pressure was constructed. and they require much force to close all these things. Just normal amount of force. This autoclave is put in, in a furnace and it's going to be rotated by means of gigs. All 
the controllers are outside of the stalls. The autoclave rotates. We can get pressure from outside by having an opening with a safety bulletproof glass in it. it from the outside. He can get the drop in pressure here. He is preparing to unload the autoclave by preparing dry ice solution. So by the ice acetone solution. So this way he can collect all the low boiling hydrocarbons resulting from the hydrogenation. He is preparing the collector for the liquefied gases. This is the dry ice acetone solution. Now he discharges the autoclave that goes through the dry ice acetone solution and the non-condensable gases are collected in a big bottle uh, containing a saturated solution of water and salt. And the non condensable gases are being measured, which is hydrogen mostly, through a, a red meeting. Now the liquid and the and the catalyst are being piped into a pipette, specially built pipette, which can eventually discharge to an Erlen Mayer and then the filter get the catalyst out. is immediately cleaned and washed. We have a, we had a special stall for it. It passes water, hot steam, steam, and eventually flushes it with the guy and clean air. And this way the autoclave is ready for the next use. Here we have a flow pipe Apparatus on the pressure uh, heated uh, uh, by a furnace. This is a controller for this flow type reactions. These are the controllers for the temperature. This is the reaction tube that each student has to fill with the catalyst. It has a preheater, it has a spacer, and also a space for the catalyst. He introduces here the preheater, inside for the temperature measurements inside for the for to insert the thermocouple. Put in the catalyst now. And 
absent to have this catalyst now. This is the space egg. And, and the, this is to retain the, the space egg and the preheat egg from uh, uh, dropping out. He puts always the reaction tube in, into the furnace attaches the outlet with the valve is that all pressure inlet, a uh, material inlet on the pressure. Now the temperature regulator? The, the temperature regulator was what the, the temperature is regulated is on top and uh, uh, was it, mechanical? It's, it's uh, based on expansion and contraction of the a branch uh, furnace to which the thermocouple is connected. This is the pressure uh, to determine the flow of the liquid. This is Dr. Hansman is performing this reaction. Now at Ohio State, almost ready to retire. This is the float. This is the pump. With controllers, so not the gate at which the material, either liquid or liquefied gases, pass to the reaction tube that is maintained at the constant temperature issue and pressure. This is the pressure regulator. It's set at 440 pounds, which is about 30 atmospheres. the cold affluent from the pressure autoclave so collectors the non condensable gases are collected in the gas bottle this is an aminco type autoclave the autoclave with liquid and also with catalyst. This is the top of the Minko autoclave. The closure is different type from the closure before. the autoclave. This is the furnace for the Aminco autoclave. This is a shaking autoclave. is placed in a stone, pressure stone. He attaches the 
Another type of reaction, this is alkylation reaction, in which uses isobutane and butene, and as a catalyst, hydrogen fluoride and hydrous, and therefore this has to be liquefied, and the reaction has to be done in a copper reactor, in copper stirring reactor, which we find is very efficient for this type of reaction. And we can make this reaction at a temperature of about minus 20, 30 degrees. Or if you want to alkylate benzene with olefins, we can do it at a higher temperature, about, to, uh, about uh, 50, 60 degrees. On the malt passion. So, now the one with the pet F will come up here a little bit. This is. Passive. Herman finds any passive. In 1945, Louis Schmeiding, any passive, in front of UOP in Riverside, McCook. Schmeiding, Monroe, and Lynn, Carl Lynn, and George Monroe. 